Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a haul for New Comic Book Day, March 1st, 2017. We're already in March. Um, as we pointed out last night on JLS, uh, on JLS Comics over there, we do the Tuesday Night Comic Conversation uh, podcast live chat. So if you come by at 8.30, we're on there. But we were talking about how March is going to be a five Wednesday month. So five New Comic Book Days in March. That means that this one apparently wasn't that heavy, uh, for, at least for me. I was down to about like 10 books or something, so that was great. I was super happy about that. Um, and I'm also going to open this Masters of the Universe box, this little figure, because it was the last one at the store, and I was like, ooh, I will try it. Might as well, right? Might as well. Okay, so if you're first time here, thanks for checking us out. Thanks uh, for stopping by. Leave a comment. I go over comments after I go over the books that I picked up this week. So hang around for that. See what everybody said. Leave a comment, and I'll go over it next week. That's how easy that is. Uh, comic Shop News was Z Nation. So if you're a fan of the sci-fi show, uh, Dynamite's apparently coming out with a Z Nation comic. I don't know. I think I've only caught glimpses of the TV show, so I don't know. Not something I'm I'm that big into. Though I thought like the premise was kind of neat, where you had a guy in a bunker who was like directing people toward him. Anyway, uh, definitely check out JLS Comics. Like I said, check out ComicBook.com. Uh, check out Strictly Comics. Edwin's doing great stuff over there. Um, I'm over there doing a condensed version of the new Comic Book Day haul, so definitely check that out. Also, if you're short on time. Um, but this week we got a Deadpool to, uh, Till Death Do Us uh, miniseries little poster and a poster for Amazing Spider-Man issue 25, the $10 book, which apparently has the return of Norman Osborn. So, don't think I'm going to pick that book up just because it's $10. I'm like, that's, I don't care. I'll pick it up later when it's cheaper. I'll start with Marvel this week, and we'll do Marvel Independent and then DC. Let's just kind of do it that way. First, I picked up America, issue number one, America Chavez. Uh, this, um, I don't know how this book's going to be. I've enjoyed the character in Ultimates and Ultimates 2, the volume that's out now. Um, and that's really, that's really the only places I think I've read her character. So, I will definitely give it a go, try and see how it goes. I don't really dig the art, though, man. I don't know. We'll give it a try. We picked it up. Hawkeye issue number four. I'm actually digging this series a little bit more than I thought I would be. So we'll keep giving Kate a go. Doctor Strange issue 18. I want to say I dropped off and didn't get 17. Maybe I did. Um, but now we have Thor back in on this one. I uh, definitely want to check it out. Oh yeah, this looks crazy. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, just when you thought it was over, it's not. We got Clone Conspiracy Omega issue number one. I hope there's not an issue number two. You know? Okay. Rhino's all locked up. And the last Marvel book I picked up this week, uh, Spider-Man 2099, issue 21. Uh, really cool cover here. I thought, anyway. I'll show you something soon, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, we're getting a bit of a glare. Like I said, uh, just bear with me a couple more weeks, everybody, and we'll be changing up all the scenery. So it'll be getting back to normal. How it was a few months ago with my show. <laughs> Alright, last week I missed out on this book, just kind of forgot about it. I picked up this variant. This is Highlander, uh, The American Dream, issue number one. Uh, <laughs> I like the original, I like the first movie and say the third movie. Second movie's weird. Later movies with Adrian Paul are like, eh. I like the TV show, but I wanted to give it a shot. Highlander, and it looks like I got the Christopher Lambert variant cover. So, I know we're going to be jumping through time in this one. I guess we go back to the Civil War. And then, I don't know. So, we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to check it out. 
New this week, though, from Image, I picked up Royal City. This is Jeff Lemire's book. Um, is he doing the art also? Yes, created, written, and illustrated by Jeff Lemire. It's going to open there. Some other cool stuff. So, just wanted to check this book out. I mean, it's a really thick book, too. Uh, it is a mature reader's book, and it was five bucks, but definitely a thicker book. Another image number one I picked up this week was Extremity, issue number one. Uh, I got the first cover, which is a big wraparound, it seems, almost. Uh, just wanted to check this one out and see what, see what was going on. I mean, there is a lot of blood and gore. There are people getting cut in half, so be aware. Be aware. Gory book, but could be kind of cool. Okay, this was actually a light DC week for me. Normally, it feels like I buy more DC than anything. Uh, first off, Green Arrow, issue 18. This one is in a bag because it comes with a Into the Badlands uh, preview comic thing. I'm going to open it. It doesn't matter. Batman, issue number 18. This is uh, the end. Uh, or I'm pretty sure it's the last part of I Am Bane. Uh, Bane's supposed to break Batman's back, right? Again? Or maybe kill him again? Or... I don't want to ruin it. I mean... Wait. Oh, uh, okay. He doesn't do it. But... He's got him up there. And then Superman 18. I picked the first cover, I think. Keep going with this story. This is, I mean, definitely one of the best books that DC's putting out. Ooh. Oh, this is part one of Superman Reborn. That's what it was. Superman, please save me. Superman, will you save me? Superman, where are you? Oh, no. Who was in that cell? And is it Mr. Oz that's like watching, is like looking over that? Yeah, because he's down at the bottom there. Craziness going on in that book. You got to be picking up Superman. And then the last DC book I picked up this week, the last book, is Death of Hawkman, issue number six. The final issue to this miniseries. Will Hawkman actually die? I don't know. But I'm digging like Adam Strange. I mean, Hawkman is pretty banged up right here, so we will see what's going on. Okay, that's all the new books this week. Let me open this box real quick. Like I said, Masters of the Universe, like a uh, little mini action vinyls. The Loyal Subjects from Los Angeles, okay? It's TM Mattel. All right, let's go here. Okay, that just kind of rips. Maybe... Here we go. We're finally getting into the box. So, here we go. Masters of the Universe. X, the loyal subject. It opened quite easily. Who did we get? We got... We got... We got Beast Man. Nice. Nice Beast Man. Very opposable. Like... The hands turn, the feet turn, at the ankle. Uh, they turn at the hip, not the knee. Elbows, not really. But so we got shoulders, hands, head. Of Beast Man. Pretty cool. Not too bad. All right. Oh, he comes with his whip, too. Sweet. He was into that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's all the books. We opened up a He-Man toy. And the comments from last week, we'll kind of go through those. Holger Peterson says, Hello, Justin. Great haul. It's always a pleasure to see what you choose for your personal fave. Thanks, man. Um, comics out of the new release, Jungle. Oh, oh, your fave out of the comics, new release, Jungle. I gotcha. My favorite books for New Comic Book Day, 222. So last week were Action Comics, 974, Thanos number 4. Thanos number 4 was crazy. Uh, Spider-Woman 16, Occupy Avengers 4, The Team Grows, hopefully Nighthawk will join it. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool, like, having him jump in that way. I was wondering what they were going to do with some of those characters. Elector number one was promising, and I will definitely buy number two. Yeah, I just really didn't dig Elector number one as much. I don't know. I think I'm expecting more from them somehow or something. But, yeah. So, good books there, man. Need to... I only read the first issue of Occupy Avengers, and I dropped it after that, so... Remember Porkins! What's up, Remember Borgins? Remember Borgins, Claude says. Uh, I'm glad you said something about Amazing Spider-Man 25. Yeah. Uh, we paid 6 due to pre-order discount, but yeah, no. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So. Alright, the comic book villain. What's up, comic book villain? He says, hey, what's up, Justin? Uh, thought I'd change it up this week because everyone pretty much has the same opening like nice haul, cool video, great video, <laughs> great haul, etc. Uh, but I was gonna say good haul. <laughs> Thanks, uh, man. Loving these image tribute covers. Yes, I didn't get one this week. Was there one this week that I missed? I think there was. I think there was. Oh, that's what it was. It was the pit one. Crap. Uh, really looking forward to getting my hands on the December nineteen. Uh, this was the tribute to Okeon, Pit number one cover. Yep, Pit and Spawn were my number one and number two books from Image. That's cool, man. Um, Pit was really cool when it came out. That book was the most inconsistent thing ever, and then they just kind of stopped. <laughs> well, this week I'm looking forward to reading a few new books uh, that came out this week, like bed, like what? Bedtime stories from American Gothic, American Mythologic. Press, I think is what they are. Yeah. Uh, by Jim Shooter. That's cool. With the last name Shooter, you can't have this book be awesome, right? Yep, definitely. Uh, the next one, also American Mythological Crypt of the Scream by Mike Wolfer. Wow. I don't know either of those books. And then my other weeklies, uh, like Hookjaw, number three, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe, number seven, Curse Words 2, Detective, 951. Yep. Action, 974. Hulk 3. How was Hulk? I haven't heard anybody talk about Hulk, the new Jessica um, Walters issues, or series. Uh, Suicide Squad, Squad 12, and Justice League of America 1. Well, Justin, my friend, until next week, bro, later the comic book villain. Alright, comic book villain, thanks, man. Strictly Comics, what's up, Edwin? Edwin says, great video, huh, man? Count those comics and tell me how many you get. I bet you I got more. <sighs> man, last week was like 20. Last week was like 20. What did I get this week? 11 with one back issue. Uh, next is Back to Reality Comics. What's up, Back to Reality Comics? Nice to have you uh, comment in here. It says, nice books as always. Enjoy your videos. Keep them coming. Hey, I really appreciate it. And like I said, everybody, just bear with me a couple more weeks. Things are going to change. We're going we're gonna to do a whole lot more fun stuff. So, things are going to be happening. Whatever. I say that all the time. But it's really true this time. I promise. It's true this time. Okay, everybody, that's all the books, that's all the comments. Go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, do that kind of fun stuff. Leave a comment, like I said, and I'll go over it next week. That's how easy that is. All right, so until next week, everybody, have a good one. Uh, enjoy your new comic book day. Enjoy the books you picked up, and don't be afraid to drop something, and don't be afraid to actually try something new. Like, I picked up a couple books this week that are brand new, just to try them out. So, all right, everybody, have a good one. Keep reading something fun, and I'll be back soon with another haul of some...